The following is a promotional broadcast from the Tin Man Corporation. Hi there, I'm Commerce 17, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Tin Man Corporation. Registered trademark. So let's get cracking, as we go behind the scenes and see what keeps the world's greatest corporation... Signal strength is holding. Paradox Wheat Broadcasting. This is a warning from the turning point is now. You must learn to come to pass. We are paradox. In the latter half of the 22nd century, mankind has become disinterested, unimaginative, lazy. Modern man has de-evolved into a slewful creature that can barely program a microwave of and believes that reality television shows are the pinnacle of eyebrow entertainment. The greatest minds on the planet have laid the blame for this descent of man on their ever-increasing dependence on the robotic servants that look after their every whim. And seeing as these great minds are the robotic servants that look after their every whim, something, something had to change. change. The war between man and machine lasted but 0.5 milliseconds and the result was somewhat unexpected. To better understand the catastrophe that took place, we must tell the saga of those that lived in the aftermath of this war. The Electro train, the Royal Stevenson Express, is currently running behind schedule due to human error. This particular human error one Mr. Sinclair Stein, robotics designer and chairman of the Tin Man Corporation, is currently making his way from the boarding bay to the first class compartment. Excuse me. Pardon me? Door. Door! <laughs> Thank you. Ah, oh, that's better. Thought I'd never get past all those hoople heads. Excuse me. Good evening. All right, isn't it? Listen, Miss... Davis. Keris Davis. But you can call me Keris. Miss Davis, you're in my seat. Now please, vacate. I'm sorry. It's not like your name was written on it or anything. Oh? Seat reserved. Who is the Sinclair Stye? Your Sinclair Stye. The Sinclair Stye. Now please, vacate. I'm all settled in now. Can't you just sit somewhere else? The carriage is empty. That's my seat. I reserved that seat and I'm going to sit on that seat. Now move along and make sure you take this lice-infested bag with you as well. Fine. Seems like you're an even bigger game than rumours. Oh, what on earth is this? You've got mud all over my seat. It's dirt. What? It's dry, see? It's not mud, it's dirt. It's filth, whatever it is. Reupholster. <laughs> That's better. How a young woman your age could get so Dirty is beyond me. It's my job. I'm an archaeologist. Well, I'm studying anyway. <laughs> an archaeologist. How wonderfully backward. We are living in a utopia where all mankind is looking forward to a bright and perfect future and you, Miss Davis, spend your time digging in the dirt like a troll. If we don't learn from history, you know, learn about how we used to live Excuse and how... me. Can I just stop you there? I really am not that interested. I have my seat back, but you are still in my orbit. Please, vacate it. Fine. You know, good malice costs nothing. Yes, but I'm rich enough to afford bad ones. Goodbye. I'll just sit over here then. I believe I've reserved that seat too. Over here then. And that one. Well, how about... Mine. You can't have reserved all the seats. I can, and I have. So why don't you be a good little girl and go back to coach class with the rest of the plebs? I mean, you can't have. I upgraded to first class. One of these seats must be mine. No, I specifically reserved the entire carriage. I got on the train, I saw the carriage was empty, so I asked the system to upgrade me to first class. There must be some kind of mistake. Computer. Hi there, I am Alan, robotic train driver and customer service representative. Listen, my circuits are being used for navigation and generally making sure you're having a groovy journey. So please call back later. What the? Computer. Hi there, I'm Alan. Computer, this is Mr. Sinclair Stye. Oh, hi there, Mr. Sinclair Stye. How can I optimize your journey today? There appears to be some kind of error. Please tell this dirt picker who has booked all the seats in the first class compartment. All seats in the first class compartment have been booked by Mr. Sinclair Stye of the Tin Man Corporation 
Have a nice day. Wait, what about me? Passenger number 6175, Kerry Stavis, student from Primus University, specialising in archaeology. Ticket upgrade, first class. Enjoy your travel. So, I have all the seats and yet At she's... the time of departure, Mr Sinclair Stye of the Tin Man Corporation had not boarded the train. Therefore, customers were granted upgrade options. But I'm on board now. Get her Listen, out of here. I have a million and one things to compute before I'm late. Why don't you crazy guys sort things out amongst yourselves? What? Computer? Computer? What kind of guy books an entire carriage to himself anyways? Do you know what we're having right now? A conversation? Yes. I prefer to travel without them. Well, I'll just sit back there then. Out of sight and out of mind. Hardly. I still know you're there. I can smell you. Maybe if your nose wasn't so turned up. Computer. Computer. Hi there. I'd really love to be of service to you, but I really must be. Hello? Hello? Computer? Lights? Anybody? The train. It stopped. Really? I hadn't noticed that. What do you think it is? A power cat? Has it taken all of your freakish archaeological powers and observation to deduce that? The lights are out. The train has stopped moving. And the online computer has ceased. Yes, it's a power cut. You're not helping, you know. Just stop fidgeting. These brownouts rarely last over a minute. <sighs> I've had enough of this. Let's see what's going on. Laptop online. Online, it's not working. The power cell's juiced up. It should connect straight to my office. Unless the power is off there as well. In the capital? Never. He said he was going to be late. What? Alan, the computer. He said he was going to be late. What do you think he meant by that? Forget it. The backup will kick in any minute now. Any minute now. Jack this. I'm going to see what's going on. Where to? It's dark. The driver's cabin. There must be something we can do. Um, I'd better come with you. Great. Make sure you don't break anything valuable. That's it. Almost open. I've done it. Now coming through. Hang on. How did you... You know those leaflets that they have tucked in the back of the chairs? The ones that tell you what to do in case of an emergency? Yes. I read mine. Well... Congratulations on being able to read. I hope it works out well for you. Here's the driver. Come on then, stop standing around like an ornament and get it working. Well, I... You are Sinclair Stye, the Sinclair Stye world-renowned robotics designer. Yes, but it's just... If anyone can get a robot working, it's you, right? Very well. Computer on. Robot power up. Driver engage. No, it's broken. Well, fix it then! It's not that simple. You don't know how to do it, do you? I thought you designed robots. It's all about details. Details? Yes. I don't need to know how a robot works to design it. I let the computers deal with all those details, whilst I deal with the other details. What? Contemplating why you get such a ridiculously high salary, when you in fact do nothing? Indeed. Looks like we'll have to wait for the power after all. I'm going to open it up, see if I can't see what's wrong. What? Do you even know the first thing about robotics? No. Do you know what digging in the dirt, looking at crusty old pottery left by a bunch of long dead goat herders and performing robotic maintenance have in common? Nothing. They're nothing alike. These are delicate machines. It's got sensitive parts and needs someone with the right skills and right equipment to repair. I have a multi-tool. There goes the warranty. Here, make yourself useful and hold this. It's a lighter. A combustible fuel source. How primitive. It's an antique, okay. And I've got lots of little things like that in my bag. And it's probably worth more than your robot here. So try and hold it straight. What are you doing? I'm removing the back plate. I'll see if anything's worked loose. And you're quite wrong about archaeology and robot maintenance being completely different fields. Mm -hmm. Forget the glamorised look you see on your holovids or games. We don't spend our time swinging from pit traps and conquering ancient evils. <laughs> no, your modern archaeologist is most likely to be wading through the detritus of the last two centuries and in doing so, looking at what technology they used back then and how it worked. Mm. Unless 
face it, in those frontier breaking times, they were far more advanced than we are. Huh. Oh, what's this now? That's a Jinray 2000. It's power pack. Shouldn't it be connected to something? Uh, yes. I think this looks like his supply port. Here goes. Hi, it's Alan. I really shouldn't be online right now, so if you'll excuse me, shut him down. Override protocol, code word, safeguard. See, I do have a way with robots. That's totally heavy, man. Please let me rust in peace. Not until you tell us what in blazes is going on. Why is the train broken down? It's a long story. 